Okay, imagine it, right? POV, I'm your friend and I'm I'm making fun of you because you don't have a cookie. <laughs> what is up, Crackhead Nation? It is the girl, Princess Galaxy, and oh my gosh, I am so excited to finally be back to you guys. I know I haven't posted in a minute, but you know what? That don't matter because guess what just happened? BTS, uh, <laughs> or should I say Big Hit, just officially announced that they're gonna be rescheduling the Math of the Soul tour and you know what that means. <laughs> we have more time to plan our outfits. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys what to actually wear to a BTS slash K-pop concert. And even if you are in an army or going to the Math of the Soul tour, this will still apply to you because it's basically just like a simple guide for you to follow to match your aesthetic with whatever you want to wear conveniently. So let's get into it. But first, if you guys enjoy K-pop content and just crackhead shit, like the video. And if you want, subscribe to the channel. I love making videos about K-pop concerts and I've made a bunch of other videos about K-pop concerts. So if you're interested in that, then <laughs> why not just subscribe? <laughs> so this video's breaks is gonna be broken down into four main categories the aesthetic you're going for, the category of clothes, like the tops, the bottoms, the shoes, and the accessories, examples of situations like going to like a concert in the summertime or going to a concert in the wintertime and like what kind of clothes to wear for those situations, and the best place to shop for clothes online, at least in my opinion, for your certain aesthetics. So I ain't wasting no time let's get into it so let's talk about your aesthetic and theme so this is basically the most important part of the entire outfit because you're basically telling a story with your outfit so there are different types of things that you can do for your outfit the first and i think personally is one of the most popular for k-pop concerts at least is your fan color so like for example if you were going to an nct concert if you were going to uh, neo city you would want to dress like Billie eilish or for example if you're xol you can dress in like silver or if you you know you get it, okay? If you like 17, dress in pastel. It's basically just the fan color of the group. So the next one is dressing like a member of the group or basically dressing like a certain era. So say if you have like a favorite era, for example, I'll do BTS because I'm thinking of the mock tour right now and I'm thinking about what I want to wear. And I've seen a lot of people cosplay as like, maybe like might drop era Yoongi or like, you know, boy with love type of aesthetic. You can just basically go for any era and then correlate your outfit based on that. Basically a cosplay, but make it fashion. <laughs> you can douse yourself in merch sauce. So just basically buying a bunch of your faves merch and wearing it. You can wear the top, you can, if you got, they got joggers, you can get the joggers. I'm not from the UK, but I like saying the word joggers. Joggers. I don't even sound like I'm British, whatever, I quit. Like for BTS, it would be BT21, or you can just get merch off of your faves website. Like if you like SM group, you can do SM Global Shop or Hot Topic, just wherever, you know, just official merch shit. Also, this is just a real quick thing, but I'm officially an ambassador for SM Global Shop. That's right, baby. So if you wanna buy some merch from your favorite SM group, you can use my code in the description it's not a code. You can use my link in the description. And if you buy anything from that link, I do get a certain percent depending on what type of thing or item it is. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I'm really excited about it, but yeah. And there's other general themes like cute pastel. You can do like kind of a vintage look. If you just want like a casual look, that's cool too. You can do like hype beast. That's really awesome. E-girl is cute or you can just have like basic streetwear. I like streetwear kind of aesthetic and I've seen it a lot. It's probably the most popular aesthetic when it comes to K-pop or just be kind of sexy, you know, like be a little slutty. I know that when BTS comes back and I'm able to see them, I'm going to be hashtag slutty for Namjoon because you know what? Namjoon wants me to love myself and I like barely wearing anything, obviously there's children there. If you are over the age of 18, I recommend that you try the hashtag slutty for Nam Doon challenge with me and just wear sexy clothes. <laughs> so the next thing is categories. So I've broken down outfits into four certain categories and I tried to make it where you can create your own outfit from it, but also it can go along with any like, like I said, type of outfit that you want or gender. I didn't want this to be just like for girls or for boys. I want everyone to kind of fit their own, you know, aesthetic into this. So I tried to make this simple for you. So let's get into it. So the first is tops. 
So <laughs> everyone loves a good top. <laughs> Not me, I'm a bottom, but everyone loves a good top. So I've broken up the categories into warm and cold, like kind of like a warm, hot time of concert, you know, like in the summertime, or like something in the winter or like fall. So for the tops, I put in the warm section that you probably want less layers. Um, cotton and nice fabric is definitely preferred. Um, you probably want something a little more comfortable, maybe a little looser, and short sleeve. Once again, these are all just recommendations going along and coinciding with the outfit that you choose or the aesthetic that you choose but these are just things that i think would be really important for you to think about when you're planning your outfit so for cold tops for like cold weather i recommend something basically similar um no long sleeves unless you want to be sweaty but if you don't sweat underneath your arms long sleeves are good and a jacket that is probably not too heavy because i know it's going to be cold outside during like winter and fall concerts. But the thing about it is that for the most part, you're gonna be inside. So if you wanna like keep your jacket on, you're gonna get, like if you wanna bring a coat, it's gonna be kinda hot. So that's why I recommend always bringing like a small, maybe like not heavy jacket, like a light jacket is really good for that. So the next is bottom. All right, so for bottoms, for the warm bottoms, you basically want anything. I mean, it's fine for like warm weather, you know, like a summer concert, shorts, skirts, cute shit, you know. But pants are also cool. For bottoms, you can basically wear anything in the, in the summertime and spring. For the colder seasons, you're most likely gonna want longer pants or leggings. I mean, you can wear shorts and skirts, but it's like, do you really want to put yourself through that? Wear leggings underneath your skirts or shorts. I guess live by the aesthetic, die by the aesthetic. If that's what you want to do, then go ahead. So for shoes, this is really important. I recommend that if you're buying shoes, just real quick before I go into shoes, if you're buying shoes like for a concert or event, and this applies whether you're going to Disney World or whether you're going to a festival or a concert, your shoes need to be broken in before the day of the event, okay? No sandals or slides either. I guess if you want, you can wear slides, but I would not recommend it. So no sandals, no slides. Comprende, comprehende, tu comprehende, si, muy bien. <laughs> So for shoes, you want like for warm weather when it comes to shoes, you're definitely gonna wanna stick to sneakers and sorry, I'm just like, I'm like reading, don't be mad. You're definitely gonna wanna stick to sneakers and small heels or wedges. If you wanna, you know, like maybe elevate your height, you can use platform shoes as well. I've known short people who have like increased their height by like three to five inches just by using platforms. And like when you five four and you get those extra five inches, you five nine. So that means if you have a floor seat in the back of the stadium, <laughs> calling all the people who saw my video a few months ago, <laughs> this is for you. Platform shoes are really amazing. And honestly, even I like platform shoes, but I'm currently five foot six. So I feel like me using platform shoes is kind of like, this is a little unnecessary, but for short people, this your clutch. Also, I put Crocs, and the only reason why I put Crocs is because they're literally so comfortable. Like, I know they like, I know Visco Girls kind of like brought them back into popularity, but I think I might buy a pair of Crocs this year and like just like wear them casually. Um, I don't know, but I recommend Crocs because they're really comfortable and honestly, they're really easy on the feet. So for cold weather, um, I would recommend almost everything except for Crocs, obviously. And I was thinking small boots, kind of like booties. Not nothing like really crazy unless it's like literally blizzarding, which in that case, the concert would probably be canceled. And next, which is my favorite, which is accessories. I broke this down basically into hair, um, body jewelry, and bags. And obviously if you find other accessories that you like to wear, then you can go ahead and wear those as well. So basically when it comes to accessories for hair, I wrote headbands. I put headbands, barrettes, and hats. I think the bucket hats are really popular, especially with like K-fashion and things like that. I see a lot of people wearing them in the concerts. Um, I'm more of a dad hat type of stan, but I see the appeal. I see the appeal. For barrettes, I was thinking like, you know, the ones that are like, they have the words on them and it's like, mm, I'm cute, <laughs> yeah. And headbands, which is my personal favorite. If you guys don't know, I actually have a video on how to make K-pop headbands. 
you can check that out it should be right here or wherever it is today but i think headbands are a really great alternative from signs signs are also really cool i recommend making signs as well but depending on where you are it can really obstruct people's view and i don't want you to be like that rude person who's like trying to enjoy themselves and like obviously like enjoy the concert but also people behind you can't see so i think headbands are a really great option because it's just your biases face up here and it's easy to make. I show you how to make them, so it's all good. <laughs> so here are the best online spots and shops to buy different things, no matter what aesthetic you have, and um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so there are official merch shops if you wanna buy like things on the more merch side, like SM Global Shop for SM Groups, Weverse, Big Hit for, Big Hit Shop for G Friend, BTS, TXT, and Seventeen. I believe they're only on Weverse, but I could you know what, I'm not gonna get into that. And just basically your your bias group's official site. When it comes to online clothing shops, real quick, I wanna plug in this thing called Uni Days. If you guys don't know Uni Days, I believe another program by the name of Student Beans has discounts for like different online shops for students. And even if you don't have like a student ID, like you don't need a student ID. All you need is an email and um, you're verified. They have pretty good deals for a lot of online shops like Princess Polly and definitely Boohoo, Misguided. I really like Misguided um, and you know Eunice and Nasty Gal. I think those are really good sites to get clothes from and Uni Days also has pretty good discounts for them. So if you are a college student or you know a college student, um, tell them about it and you guys can probably get the discount together. Also a few other shops are Fashion Nova, Missy Empire. I just found out about them a few days ago. They're UK based and other shops like that that I could put over here or over here. <laughs> All right, so resale shops are also a really good place to get like fan merch or if you're really looking forward to getting like a piece of merch that you can't find anywhere else online, you could probably find it resale or something like that. And I think three great websites are Mercari, Etsy, and Depop. I've used Mercari and Etsy, but I have not used Depop, but I've heard really great things from it and you know, basically you know good old resale shop so for Mercari I actually have a link in the description where you can get ten dollars off your first order when you sign up and you get ten dollars and whatever merch or collectibles you want for your k-pop group never use it I have been using Mercari for I think almost two going on two years I started using it in 2018 and it's actually a really good resale um, Etsy is really good as well and Depop. I never use Depop, but I've heard a lot of good things from them. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment and let me know. If you have any comments, let me know. I love talking to y'all and giving y'all the tea. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I do crackhead shit. Follow me on Twitter. I do crackhead shit. And uh, every... It's in the description, okay? <laughs> also, I have a playlist now. It's called Crackhead Nation Official HQ Playlist, blah, 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 whatever. And it's basically just songs that I've enjoyed throughout the whole week. I upload it, I update it every single Tuesday. It's on YouTube Music. And um, yeah, link in the description. All right, guys, I love you so much. Stay safe and bye. <laughs>